Hello everyone, this is student meteorologist Zachary Duhame back with the forecast update, but it's not a normal update, it is a winter storm update. We have the first major winter storm of 2018, only a few days in the year, but we already have a lot to talk about. So let's time things out, we're going to go right to it. No headlines, going right to the timing out of the storm. 4 o'clock in the morning, here's your forecast radar, snow breaking out across southern Connecticut. By 7 o'clock, those going uh, to work... I would say no one's going to school tomorrow, but some have to work. Be careful. It's snowing heavily across the state. But I want to notice this uh, kind of white shading that kind of goes from southeast Connecticut right to Long Island off the coast of New Jersey. That's uh, like, uh, what we call a uh, uh, subsidence in meteorology. The bands of snow over western Connecticut and eastern Long Island are kind of taking away from some of the snow. So this is why it's hard to forecast who sees what because some meat areas will get under a banding of snow where it snows very heavy and about 10 miles east they may get five six inches less so this is kind of the the toss of the forecast but expect snow heavy at times in the morning commute advance it one more time to four o'clock in the afternoon see this pink and purple shading southeastern connecticut so again we're in western connecticut but southeast connecticut and rhode island they're seeing the heaviest snow that's where the heaviest snowfall totals likely will be with the banding but again exactly where this band or the bands that do set up will determine who sees the most snow in this forecast but overall it looks like an eastern uh, new england storm but if this is track a little bit closer to us western connecticut or most connecticut we're talking about maybe double digit snowfall so definitely still not a certain forecast but again this is uh what we're doing our best here to see what will happen and by eight o'clock the storm way to the north and west past Cape Cod, Connecticut, drying out already, but the winds become cranking out of the northwest, probably gusting at 25, 35 miles per hour. So snow will be blowing and drifting all night long. It's going to be very cold as well. So just a dangerous and nasty storm. So let's break the storm down. It begins after midnight. Snow ends before 8 p.m. So it's a pretty quick hitting storm, but it's a pretty powerful one, folks. Again, heaviest about 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. 5 to 9 inches of snow far western Connecticut. 8 to 12 for most of the state. Could see isolated higher amounts wherever the banding does set up. Strong winds also gusting to probably 45 miles per hour at times. So isolated power issues. And that will also cause blowing and drifting snow. So again, it's a big winter storm. It's not a joke about the biggest one we've seen in over probably a year. So definitely nothing to take lightly here. And yes, my snowfall map by uh, this is Thursday night snowfall. Again, a general 8 to 12 inches statewide. Western Connecticut, Danbury. I think Danbury are good with about 6 or 7 inches. So I'm going 5 to 9. Uh, western and northwest hills, uh, 8 to 12 for most of the state, and maybe far northeastern Connecticut into Rhode Island, about 9 to 14, maybe more inches. Again, this all depends on when banding sets up. If this shifts, then Hartford could be seeing 14 inches. If it shifts, Danbury could be seeing 14 inches. If it shifts the other way, maybe 4 or 5 inches in Danbury, 6 or 7 in New Haven. So this is a very volatile forecast. Here's my best shot. Again, a general pretty much 6 to 12 inches statewide. It's a major snowstorm regardless. Lots of wind, cold temperatures, so definitely a day to see off the roads. And after the storm does pass, it gets windy and very cold by Friday, Saturday. Saturday morning, it's going to be negative 4 degrees in the northwest hills. Be near zero around Danbury, feeling like negative 30 degrees. I'm not hyping it. Negative 30 will be the wind chill Saturday morning and uh, even into the, throughout the day, probably negative 15, negative 10 with gusty wind. So just extreme cold coming so cold that my flight was canceled uh saturday morning going to chicago so yes this is the coldest air we ever see around here and it's definitely not something to take lightly as well tonight's forecast winter storm warning also in effect highlighting dangerous travel and over six inches of snow likely 14 degrees snow after midnight tomorrow's forecast i put it on the left uh, hand side school will be closed statewide not a doubt in my mind a lot of schools already closing tonight likely in the, due to the pending snow uh, snowstorm again heavy snow windy cold gusts to 35 miles per hour so just a day to stay inside with your friends and your family your quick extended forecast it gets better with no snow but look how cold it gets for friday and saturday highs in the teens lows below zero negative one saturday morning negative four sunday morning and maybe another winter storm with maybe a warmer air with some wintry mix come monday it was a lot to cover folks but again a general six to twelve inches statewide a little less than northwest a little most more in this northeast part of the state so we're in for the first major storm of the season. I'm student meteorologist Zach Duhame. Enjoy your snow day and be safe if you're heading outside in the storm.